Hey there, good morning. It is Tuesday, another Tuesday, and here we are live from Las Vegas today. And uh, so just looking forward to chatting with all of you. And as always, want to give a few uh, moments, a minute or two, for those who uh, might want to join us. I don't know why, my nose always itches. <laughs> Tuesday mornings, it's like, oh my gosh. Hey, Allison, good morning. How are you? Allison is checking in from Kansas City. Ursula, oh my gosh, good morning. We had such a great talk the other day. Nice to see you. Ursula is also in the Kansas City area. Lisa Maruka, you had a great vacation, huh? I'm anxious to hear all about it. And Sue, good morning. Lovely to see all of you today. Has everybody got their coffee or their tea? Yeah, me too, Lisa. I look forward to seeing you in, gosh, about two weeks, I think, is when I'll be back in, right? <laughs> Lisa is our fun, fearless female um, travel gal. She takes care of our plans, and she is uh, planning and got it all lined out for our cruise. It's going to be in February of next year, so... Any of you who will be watching, um, and you know, Lisa, why don't you post your info there? Because somebody might be interested in um, finding out the details of the cruise. So put your information there. Also, anybody who's interested can also go on to my website, which is Delinda Lane, L A Y N E, just in case y'all don't know, dot uh, com. Delinda Lane dot com, and there is a tab about the cruise. So you can go right there and find out the information too. So. Um, yes, so Lisa, so you're going with us. Hi, Angie. Oh, my goodness. Boy, we have a lot of folks there in Kansas City checking in today. Now, Nicole, where are you? So, as y'all check in, tell me where you live. Where are you? That would be, that would be great to know. Good, Lisa. That way everybody has that. And, uh, there's still some, uh, couple of cabins left at the original pricing, uh, or pretty close to it, something like that. Anyway, they're really good pricing still for our cruise. So it's February 9th through the 14th, if I recall. So good morning. Yes. Oh, right, Kathy. Absolutely. And Kathy, just as an FYI, I would like you to Facebook Live me just for a minute or two um, at the lunch. So if uh, you can remember to do that, or I'll try to call you, but I'd love to do just a little bit Facebook Live with uh, the new group there on the 4th week. So we have um, Fun Fearless Female in Kansas City, a luncheon um, at 1130 Kansas City time at where? Egg and I. Is that right? At the Egg and I at 135th, uh, just off of 69. And then in Liberty on Thursday, our fourth week Thursday, which will be at Conrad's up in Liberty with Jennifer Mills. So Kathy and Jennifer are coming in. They are awesome women. You guys are going to have a great meeting. I noticed on Meetup, you have you know quite a few RSVPs, but you guys, if you didn't go in and RSVP, that's okay. Everybody just shows up and eats their breakfast or their lunch or whatever. So, yay, everybody, let's go. And I will um, try to remember. I should have put a thing on there last night. I apologize. I was going to put a posting on there. So, yes, okay, yeah, Lisa, thanks for, thanks for saying that. So, all right, and I see some more people kind of checking in. So as you check in, be sure to tell me where you are so everybody can know. Um, you know, we had last week, we had a lady check in from Mississippi and somebody in Atlanta, and I love to see how we're spreading across, just all of us as we come together as a, as a group. So as you know, we have been, uh, we've been starting our talk about your confidence mirror. And so what is your, when you look in the mirror, what do you see? And when you think about yourself from seven different categories, and the categories are personal, how do you feel about just yourself in general, your creativity, your imagination, um, just who you are as a person? How do you feel overall about yourself? And then the second one is relationships. How do you feel about your relationships? Do you make good choices? Um, maybe in the past you didn't make good choices and now you're making better choices. So where are you right now on that scale of one to 10? One being, oh my gosh, I need help. And 10 meaning I am totally confident, feeling great about myself in these areas. So on a scale of one to 10, where are you in your relationships? Uh, the next one is communication. How are you at communication? Um, and it could be, a variety of areas you know when you get up to talk um, 
in a group maybe to introduce yourself or introduce your business. Maybe you're in a ladies group or maybe a Bible study or some other kind of meeting and maybe you feel really confident when you stand up and speak and introduce yourself and maybe on the other hand you don't feel quite so confident uh, in your communication skills. <laughs> this is so funny guys, I'm gonna do a little side. Okay, so I'm, I've been noticing in my videos like right now, my hands just are going crazy down here. Like, stop it. So as I'm noticing, I'm going to put my hands down. Some of the time I do, I am so expressive when I talk that I do have to use my hands. But I've been noticing I'm being a little overboard in that. So I'm going to try to calm my hands down. Keep my enthusiasm, but keep, uh, but keep the hand, hands down a little bit. So, hi Cecilia, and if where are you? If you check in, I know Brenda, you're in Kansas City or in you know, Overland Park. Uh, so as you check in, everybody, um, give me your town. Where do you live? Uh, okay, so I just talked about communication. The next one on our seven characteristics to, to look at is health. How are you in your health, in your physical health, on a scale of one to 10? Are you, have you been making some great health choices? I, I know at our uh, gatherings last, uh, last month, actually this month, still in July, uh, there were a couple of people who actually said that they have been really taking care of themselves. They're really, um, their health is better than it was, say, a year ago. They're lowering their A1C. And so where are you on that scale? Kind of thinking of that to yourself. Uh, Business-wise, what, you, what do you feel? Are you reaching the success that you want? Is your business booming? Um, and we talked last week, we went into the business side a, a good bit. Um, and, and we will hit that some more because there's many facets within each one of these categories. But where do you feel on a scale of one to 10 in your business? Are you happy with your business? Do you like your business? Do you love your business? Do you not like your business and want to do something else? So that would probably put you in about the mid range thinking, you know, yeah, well, I'm doing okay in the business I'm at, but that isn't really the one that you want maybe, all right? And Jody, good morning. Nicole, good morning. Jacqueline, oh! Hey, Jacqueline, you are out here in Vegas. I think I haven't been able to see everybody signing in, but it appears that you might be our first one here from Las Vegas. So that is cool. And Kim, where are you? Some of y'all I know where you are, but sometimes my mind doesn't remember which town that I know you from. All right, then the, the uh, sixth one on our list of seven is finances. Where are you in your finances? How are you feeling about money? You know, and I'm... Uh, later, probably in the fall, I'm going to start a, um, uh, a study on what the Bible says about finances and not as much finances about finance and business uh, because many women that I know uh, really feel like either they're not worthy to make the money, they don't deserve to make money, they're not happy about their success, they don't know what to do with it. And that really is something I dealt with early in my life. And um, when we talk about the finances, I'll go into that story. So I'll, I'll save that one for another time. Um, but thinking about where do you feel that you are? Do you make good investment choices? Do you um, stay within your budget or do you are you always just living um, you know, uh, month to month and not putting away any savings for yourself? And uh, those kind of things is what, when you're looking at that whole picture of you and your finances, where do you, where do you rate yourself? And then the last one is spiritually. And the truth is kind of spiritually is, is like number one and number seven or like pre, pre number one, because I found that where you are spiritually often determines where you are in many of these other categories. Because as y'all know, I really believe that it's when you really know whose you are, when you really understand how amazing it is to be a child of God, that 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 begins to negate how you feel about everything else because it makes you understand yourself. It makes you understand that you're totally loved. You don't have to compare yourself to anybody else. You don't have to keep up with anybody else. It's really all about um, you and where you stand with the Lord. So where do you stand on that scale? Are you really understanding that and living that out? Uh, what do you really believe? Sometimes we never stop or we uh, don't stop and take the time to really look at where we are. So those are your seven categories, and I won't go into this much depth every week, but I probably will hit them every time just to keep us on track for what we're uh, what we're talking about. All right, who else? Hey, Karen, good morning. Karen, did I see that it's your birthday or it's coming up? I think I just saw a little note go across my uh, screen yesterday or today. So if we are in your birthday week, happy birthday. Anybody else who has one too, I'll wish you a happy birthday. All right. 
So this morning, one of the topics that I'm going to hit, I'm not going in any order. I really just am going to talk about um, uh, about each each of these characteristics as I feel so led. As you all know, I kind of go with my gut and what I feel the Spirit is telling me and what, what it is that people need to hear. And I had two places to go today. And um, um, I will tell you all, um, we, we, oh gosh, um, I might not even be able to say it. It's still pretty raw. Um, we had um, a death of, uh, of in our in our immediate family, not my, my grandson, but a little child in our family, who just passed away in his bed. He was four years old, and I I, I can't give you names or the actual relationship because um, this this just happened. And um, so I, my only thing that I will say on this is that look at your relationships and the people that you love, and make sure that you're spending the time with them because we never know when it's going to change. You know, that's, that's just, you know, we just never know. And um, I want to thank Kathy because uh, she's really helped me in the last year just understanding about, you know, what do you say, what do you don't say, and just kind of being there as a listening ear whenever they need that. So anyway, um, I, I appreciate y'all's thoughts and prayers for, um, for our family as we um, are going through that. So... Uh, but today we're going to talk about health and wellness, and where do you stand on that marker? Now, many of y'all know, good morning, Luana. Many of y'all know that um, I have been making some changes, and my I guess my biggest change came last year when I started on Congan water, because that's the only water that I drink now, and I'm not I'm not on any medications. I, I was having to take a lot of allergy stuff, and I'm really not, so that's been just such a blessing. Thank you, Sue. Um, and uh, so that's made a big change, and I just never have drunk water in my life. I never really liked it. You know, I could always drink everything else, but I just didn't like water. So that is a huge change that I've made in this last year is really drinking more water. And then in January, um, I gave up sugar. And that is sugar in the form of um, sugar, <laughs> a dessert, a cake or a pie or cookies or ice cream. And uh, so, and then up about, let's see, it's been about three weeks now. Then now uh, I have eliminated the extra, the whites, the white flour. So now, so for me, I, and I don't know about you guys, but I think for most people it's the same. It's hard to do everything at once. It's hard to just stop everything. So I think the reason I'm feeling and having such... Uh, better success right now with uh, not doing the carbs um, is or limiting my carbs is because I already gave up sugar early in the year so it wasn't like I was having to go through my sugar withdrawal because sugar is my favorite y'all I, I am a sweet eater and if I it, when I hit highs or lows I want to go celebrate and have an ice cream sundae so you know what what is your celebration food mine is mine is ice cream and so I do I, re, I do miss the ice cream but now it's been long enough that um, I don't, uh, you know, I'm not having the craving and it's okay. And at one point, um, I think whenever I'm ready, I don't know when that'll be because I'm, I'm one of these that I'm sort of an all or nothing kind of girl. And so when I, uh, I'm, af I'm afraid now to do it because I'm afraid then I'll go back to my old way, but maybe giving myself one something, one dessert a month. I mean, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Moderation, right? Um, I just know myself and, and moderation is not always my strong suit. So on a scale of one to 10, if I'm looking at myself in health and wellness, I would probably give myself, I don't know, a six or a seven. I'm, I'm in the process of, of getting that on a higher scale. Um, I will shortly, in the next probably 60 days, I'll go in for all my blood work and stuff. Because uh, one of my goals is to lower my A1C. And it's not, um, I'm not, uh, I was big, like just under borderline. And I don't, I just refuse. It, as long as I, you know, as a person, I have control over what I put in my mouth. That will help, you know, I can, I can take, um, I can take that and I can make a difference. So that's why um, this is, my focus is really trying to make that difference. So, um where do you stand and sort of think about that to yourself? Um, maybe you are making those really good choices. And, and you know, the truth is, guys, we're all different. You know, maybe carbs aren't your thing. That just happens to be mine. Maybe um, when you eat too much protein or too much meat, maybe that does weird things to your body. And, you know, 
let's listen to our body. Our body will tell us, you know, if you eat something and every time you eat it, you know, you, you know, it makes you sluggish or you don't feel good. And that's what would happen with me with sugar. You know, you'd eat it and you'd feel good for a few minutes while you're eating it, the satisfaction, right? The immediate satisfaction. But later in the day, I'd be so sluggish and not, I'm not having to take naps in the afternoon. And occasionally I would do that. And um, I will be honest with you that, you know, oftentimes, depending on my schedule, um, I do take power naps uh, oftentimes when I'm traveling and when I'm performing or if I have things at night because um, I need the energy for the end of the day as well as the beginning of the day. So again, I know my body and I know that if I just take that rest, 30 minutes just to sit down and whether I go to sleep or doze off doesn't matter, um, but it's learning learning what works for me and then I can be 100% for whoever I'm seeing in the evening if I'm doing a, a concert or, or whatever that, that might be. So the other thing, so we know that in all of the days, every, everything out there will tell you how important water is. So where are you in your drinking water? Where are you in your food choices? Um, one of the, the statistics that, um, that I was really shocked about is that all disease, all cancer, um, the way it survives and grows is in an acidic environment. So if you look up studies, um, you know, I, I can't tell you what they are, but I just know that whenever I go looking for any research on what sugar does, um, it, it, there's not one good thing about it is the truth, except that it tastes good going down. So where are you like, and think about that. Look at that. You know, where are you eating sugars? And I am not, I am not a personal trainer. I'm just sharing with y'all things about normal, just life. And I think most of us, we know, we know what it is. We just don't want to make those choices, right? And uh, y'all heard me tell this story, but I'm going to tell it again because it's just kind of perfect for today. About, it's now been, oh my goodness, five or six years. And I was, um, when we first moved to Las Vegas, um, my our nephew on Bill's side uh, came in and lived with us here. And then he... Uh, was over in um, also over in LA and I also got an apartment in LA and, and we uh, we shared an apartment over there for a little while and um, I had been I had always wanted to do some acting so I was out and uh, went on movie set um, any of y'all who ever watched True Blood I was in the, the opening um, uh, premiere of that what, what do you call that but anyway the first show of that I was in there and uh, it was great. So I did a lot of fun things. Was on Grey's Anatomy just as a just as a background, uh, you know, just a background person. I got to be a reporter one time, and I I put my microphone in front of um, you know the Star Trek guy. <laughs> you know, y'all sometimes my brain does not bring in all those names, but y'all know who I'm talking about. The Star Trek guy. Anyway, he was on. This was on Boston Legal. So Boston Legal, and we were in the elevator, and it was my job to put the microphone in his face so that he could be giving a, you know, an interview or something. So I had a lot of fun. The pilot, thank you, Lana. <laughs> oh my gosh, you know, it takes a village, you guys. I love it. You guys are all, we're all on a team here helping each other. Uh, so anyway, <clears throat> it was a really fun time. But part of that is you go on auditions all the time and you really have to learn to um, be good at taking rejection because more often than not, they're going to tell you no. And that's another whole topic we should talk about sometime is just, well, and I have talked about it before, but there's, it's a never ending subject, um, about no. And, uh, I uh, had gone to an, I remember I had come back to the apartment and, um, I probably, I probably weighed another, uh, 20, 25 pounds heavier than I am right now. Um, and I came back and I was like really like wham wham doing a little whiny stuff, which is not my normal way. But when it comes to my body shape, that that's my issue that I deal with, um, or it has been. I, I get I get better at it all the time. Um, as far as being able to just um, well, anyway, let me tell, finish the story. So I got back and um, Eric and I were talking about some things. He's an awesome singer and musician, and we were just talking and think, talking about music and. And I said, yeah, I said something to the effect of, yeah, I, I bet I'd get more of these auditions. I'd, I'd probably get more yeses if I, you know, was, if I was smaller, if I, you know, if I weighed less, if I weren't so heavy and wham, wham me. And um, he looked at me and he said, well, it's your own fault. And it's like, what? It is not. I mean, I literally, I literally said that. And 
he said, well, whose fault do you think it is, Delinda? Nobody makes you eat those brownies, knowing that brownies are my favorite thing, right? Hot food Sunday with a brownie. So um, it was really eye-opening. And I, y'all, I have to tell you, it took me two years before I really could mentally accept that. I don't know. I, I, I've never been one really to blame other people for my choices or where I am in life. You know, but that is one, and I guess I was because I did not want to accept that. And I know, Kathy, several of y'all uh, that are on um, have heard me tell that story. Um, but now I, I can accept that I am what I am today. My body, my health, my wellness is all based on the choices that I'm making. Choosing to not have sugar, choosing to lower my carb intake now, um, those kind of things. What are the choices that you need to make? in order to feel better about yourself. And it's not about being, you know, cute and skinny and being a model and all that. I mean, you know, hey, 67, that's not what I'm gonna be. But what I want is to play with my grandchildren. I wanna be able to ride a bike and, and you know, with the kids. I wanna be able to um, have the stamina to go on a long walk or go hiking with them. And the way it is right now, I wouldn't be so great at that. So, you know, what? why do you want it? You know, if it's all about just, you know, I wanna look better, you know, that, that's good, and certainly I do, but I really want it for, I want a more active lifestyle, or I want to keep the active lifestyle that I have. So when you're looking at your health and wellness, where are you on the scale? And then, do you want it to be better? Would you like to be a 9 or a 10 on the health and wellness scale? And that's where I'd like to be. I, you know, so like I said, right now I give myself a six or a seven. I will, I'm going to go in later at some point um, in the next probably 60 days, get my blood work done, see how I'm doing on that. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to Dr. Georgia Nav. She's one of our gals there in Kansas City, and she does a you uh, you you go to ancestry.com or one of the others, and you get your genetic uh, your DNA profile and then you can take it into her and I don't know her details of the program I just know she does this and then she tells you based on your DNA why things are lining up and why they're not and how you can make the change by what you eat which I think is just fascinating so anyway she's going to be on our program in um, October there in Kansas City we're going to have a uh, uh, earn and learn night or learn and earn and Dr. Georgia and Kathy um um, are going to be on that uh, on that panel that night giving you some information to help make your life and your business better so you can watch for details on that so all right guys talk to me a little bit what where do you anybody want to really commit yourself and say where you are in your scale of uh, one to ten or maybe say the thing that you have changed that you're doing better that you didn't used to do anybody want to put themselves out there hi Janice and Annie good morning I'm gonna scroll back down here, you guys. I'm gonna try and see, how do I do that? Come on, come on things, scroll down. So if you see me, I'm looking at the screen. I'm, oh, there we go. And uh, Gretchen, Gretchen, where are you? Where do you live? Uh, Dana, good morning, nice to see you. And there we go, yay, all right. Okay, I'm just trying to see. All right. Oh, Kim Cox, I had missed you earlier. Jody, I think I said good morning. Nicole, good morning. Patty, Patty Gore, good morning. All right. Oh, Lisa, you're so sweet. Lisa Maruka. All right. So, um, all right, guys. So, uh, quick turn on. Swipe left. Okay. I'm getting little messages here, so we'll, we'll see. So, I've been a little bit better today, keeping my hands more calm. So... <laughs> Um, I'll, I don't know if y'all noticed, um, I'm in the process of moving, okay? Uh, and I haven't found where I'm moving yet, but everything's fine on our house. The appraisal came in and the, um, the buyer already had his financing and the inspection came through fine. So the only thing left now is for me to go find some place to live. And I just, I'm not finding that place. So I'm figuring God's got the perfect place and I just haven't seen it yet. So, um, if any of you are interested, I did a couple of years ago, well, actually four years ago, I did a blog for weeks on moving, and uh, y'all can go back and check that out, but if any of you are interested in moving tips, I, I, all the names I've seen, I haven't seen anybody's in the middle of that, but I am an expert at moving, and I have some great tips, so, um, in fact, that probably would make a nice little small book, 
You know, I've moved, Bill and I, this is our 15th move since we've been married. And it is probably at least, um, I think at one time I counted 27 in my life. My dad was in the Air Force. We moved like every three years. So, um, I, you know, you kind of either learn how to do it and go with the flow. And so it doesn't really bother me. Um, but it's been four years. That's a long time for me. So usually I move about every three, four years, something like that. So anyway, that's what I have been in the middle of. And that's probably what I'm going to head and do today after we sign off. So anybody have any last thing, last um, comments that you want to make? Let me see. Somebody said, Oh, Ursula, now there you go. Um, I stopped bringing junk food in the house. Oh, that is huge. That really is a big one, um, especially the things that you like. You know, I could buy chocolate chip cookies all day because my husband likes them, but I don't really like, I know I'm one of the weird people in the world. Um, I don't like chocolate chip cookies because they could pretty much sit in the house forever and I would eat them unless I was really in a, tizzy and, and was going to eat everything that I could see. You know, any of y'all who've ever dealt with uh, food issues um, know that feeling. Uh, but that is a great one. And my sister, one of the ones she does is sometimes she just wants something, you know, chips or whatever. So she will only, she'll go into a, this a little quick stop and she'll just get the small bag of chips. Now, I'm one of those that whenever I open the bag, I just keep eating them, you know, whether it's cookies or chips or whatever. So her way that she found helped her, she was a personal trainer for 25 years. And so she has lots of tips on health and wellness. But one of hers is just, if you need, if you want something, then just go out and get it. Make yourself leave the house, Ursula, like just what you're saying, don't bring it in the house. Go out of the house and just buy you the small bag of chips and eat it. And then, you know, you've satisfied that urge and then it's over, right? And so, anyway, so that, that's another good way. Uh, Ursula, you need what tips? The moving tips? All right. So I might, uh, I might, I might start a little side, a little side jot on, on moving tips. So uh, anybody else have anything? Do you have a tip or something that you've changed in your life on your health and wellness? And can somebody, you guys, I can't see, I cannot see what the time is. Can somebody tell me what time it is? Because I, I always hate to go over. We kind of block out this 30 minutes of time with each other. And I didn't put my watch back on this morning. Well, maybe I can do this. Can somebody tell me what time it is? And I'm going to move this over here. There we go. Oh, there's my lamp. It's kind of the lighting's not too good there. I was going to see if I can just turn on my computer. I'm just waiting, too. I want to see if you guys want to. Um... Okay, we got, we're right. We're, we're just right on it. And who answered yes to what? Oh, gotcha. Okay, that was Ursula. Yeah, see, because the screen, if y'all have ever done a Facebook Live, I encourage you to, to try it, to do it. It's, kind of, it's really fun. I'm, I'm so enjoying doing it um, and uh, uh, learning uh, new ways about it. But trying to watch uh, the scrolling at the same time is just where it gets a little bit tricky because when you see me put my face down and I'm reading. I, I much rather look straight at you. And did everybody grab their, their coffee or tea this morning? I have just a pretty boring little green cup today. Okay. Is that all the sharing we're going to have today? All right. All right, guys. Well, um, keep in mind on your health and wellness, like everything else, it's the choices you're making. You know, I can admit that I am the size and shape and health and wellness based on my choices. That's why I'm trying. That's why I am making. I'm not trying. I am making. You're either making or not making, right? There's no real try. So what changes do you want to make in your life to put you higher on that scale of one to 10 so that you can have the active life that you want and be able to do the things that you want? So take a look at that. And remember, you guys, as in all things and the way that I like to end every show is that remember that life is not a matter of chance. It's a matter of choice. Choose wisely. Choose health. Choose yourself and take care of yourself. Choose to go out and make it a fabulous week. And for goodness sake, make a difference as you go. Bye, y'all. Mwah.